Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and my name is Dr. Monu Mishra and in today's video we are going to talk about what are the career prospects or the career options after PhD. So I have witnessed a lot of people have been requesting me from long to make a video on this topic what are the packages and what are the exactly job career or job opportunities after PhD. So let me tell you one thing very clearly is that there is no such thing called as package. I have been requested many times to make a video on this topic that what are the career opportunities or the career options after your PhD and how much is the package that you get after doing a PhD. So let me tell you one thing very clearly is that there is no such thing called as package after PhD. There are a lot of jobs that you can apply and the package or so called the money or the salary associated with that job depends in a very great range. So suppose in case of India, you can get a salary of 40,000 to a salary of like 2 lakhs just after your PhD or maybe more than that. That will certainly depend upon your experience, your expertise, your skills. Just like in engineers, an engineer from IIT can get a good package and an engineer from a class B or class C uh, university or college can get a low package. So similarly in PhD you can get a good package or just a minimum amount but that does not depend upon your institute but that depend on your skills and expertise. So a person who is from a state university or a college has good expertise or skills that can get a good, jo good job or salary and a person from IIT or a big institute who doesn't have a good skill or something like that it can also get a lower package. So let's start talking about what are the career options after PhD and what is the basic or it's a average salary. So I will talk about that in the coming section. But before starting this video, I would like to tell you one thing. I am putting so much effort to make one video on that. And I have seen like people are very easy in sharing memes. They are people are very easy in sharing like uh, fun videos, but they are very reluctant or sorry, very hesitant in sharing videos related to education. So guys, I'm making this video for your career growth and if you share this video, it may come useful for some person. No, I am not getting anything from this channel. Trust me, it's far, far away Then I will get a single penny of this. But this is my passion. This is I want to do it for the people who are preparing for PhD or who are willing to do this kind of things. So the, the least you can do is to like the video and share it with your friends so that I can get a maximum reach to the people who can really get benefit out of these things. Many people miss these things because they are not aware of, they don't have proper guidance. So the least thing you can do is to share because memes and everything you can share uh, on everyday basis, but sometimes education also is, you know, you need to support it. So let's get started with today's video. And if you have not followed me on social media platforms, the link is given somewhere above. You can go and follow me on the social media platform as well. So let's start with today's video. The first job that you can apply after your PhD is a postdoc. PhD is doctorate of philosophy or doctor in philosophy. And then you can apply for postdoctorate. So it's not easy to get a job just after your PhD or say like you want to indulge in research because five years of experience are nowadays is not that much. People go for further research, further training because in PhD you are under the supervision of someone but then you need to do some independent research and learn some independent thing, how to write grants, how to train students and everything. So though then you go for a postdoc and that postdoc can depend whether you want to do it from India or you want to do it from abroad. So accordingly, the place you are choosing your salary may vary from place to place. So for India, it is something like 47,000, the basic 47,000. And in case of many institute, it go for 60 or 65,000 in Indian scenario. But if you go for foreign university, say in US, it starts from $4,000. In uh, Europe, it is somewhere around 25 to 3, 2,500 to 3,000 euros. In Canada, it's about $4,000. In Australia, it's about $4,000 that's Canadian and Australian dollars and it's like somewhere like that in Japan you get somewhere around 3 lakh yen per month or 3.5 lakh yen per month so it greatly depends where you want to go and accordingly that's the first career option that you can do after your PhD the post doctorate it may vary from one year to people do it to five years or six years or that depends it has no age limit and it has no foundation up to what you can do a post doctorate the second career option is obviously you all know is the assistant professor 
you can apply for an assistant professor job in a central university, state university, deemed university, college, anywhere. After your PhD, you are eligible for an assistant professor job, whether or not you have qualified for net examination. So you can apply for assistant professor jobs at various places. In the government, you will get around 70,000 or something like that in starting. And in the private, you have to negotiate some good private university, even pay for one lakh and some like non-good universities or like class B university go for 50,000. And in worst case scenario, I have seen PhD people doing jobs at 25,000 per month. So that depends what kind of PhD you have done and what kind of institute you're applying. So that's how you can go for the second option. The third option is scientist. You can apply for very scientific positions like for scientist C, D, E and all, all those things. You can, up, there are many labs in our country. For example, we have CSIR labs, 37 or 38. We have DBT labs, we have DST labs, we have DRDO labs, we have Central Cell Board and we have many other research. So according to your expertise and according to your subject, you can go for these scientific positions. The starting salary is around 60 or 60, 70,000. It is similar to assistant professor. So this is how you can go for a scientific position. As the fourth option is uh, I will talk about industrial jobs. So after a PhD, you can also go for industrial jobs. So in many industry, they hire for research scientist, they hire for scientist. So, uh, for example, if you are doing pharma pharmaceutical things, so you can apply for a job in pharmaceutical industry. You can apply for IBM. If you have from computer science background, you can apply for uh, like uh, Microsoft, Samsung, Tata Group, Reliance Industries, many more things. So every industry which fabricates any kind of device might require person who are trained in that field. So I have seen many of my friends who have done good work in semiconductor physics or device fabrication. So they go for industrial jobs as well. Microsoft is one of the example. One of them are in Qualcomm, one are Snapdragon uh, or say Samsung or you have any experience in automotive. So you can go for Tesla and any kind of things. So that depends if you are trained in a particular field that has some industrial application so you can go for industrial jobs and these jobs are really high paying job you can you know earn say around 1.5 lakhs to 2 lakhs or 2.5 or 3 lakhs or 5 lakhs so that depends on your expertise that depends on your experience you can get paid much 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 higher than i the jobs i told you before because industry pay much higher than academia and research the fifth job i will be talking about is about company oriented thing jobs what are the company company oriented jobs so many companies uh, make scientific instruments they deals with instrumentation they been electronics things they deals with uh, you know testing they are pharmaceutical companies uh, uh, there are biotechnology companies and many more kind of things so if you are trained in that field a certain field say biotechnology or instrumentation or electronics or it so then you can also apply for these kind of jobs suppose many instrument making company want to hire person who have good have good hand in instrumentation suppose i have a good hand in you know photo emission spectroscopy so i can apply for a industry who is making photo emission spectroscopic instruments there are many company and i can also apply for that so similarly if you have expertise in certain instrument or technology or say uh, pharmaceutical uh, technique then you can apply in those companies as well cement is on one of the examples so chemical engineer also ex uh, you know apply for cements and everything the next thing is uh, about startup many of the phd students are now going to start their own startup because they have developed a new technique they have developed a new instrument they have developed any new device which is capable of uh, business that, that that means that can be used in our daily life and can be used for business prospects so they also go for startups and if you are not uh, something in entrepreneurship so you can also go for coding if you have good experience in coding and in uh, programming computer skills so accordingly you can also work with various startups and everything that is also one business the next job prospects is your consultancy many of the private firms hire people for consultancy business how to you know write a program of project how to run a project, how to get environmental clearance, how to make a good architectural design, how to make a building. So people who are from those kind of streams like civil, they can go for good you know, consultancy, the environmental people, they can go for good consultancy. 
so these kind of people who have you know some uh, consultancy sort of uh, inclination or they have good experience in that field they can also go for consultancy sort of the jobs and that depends how much they want to pay because in phd you are trained how to write a project how to run a project how to maintain project at various stages and everything you have a good experience of that you are master of one field certainly then you can use your expertise to consult the certain industry or a, a company the next job is about uh, content writing as well as publishing so and scientific communication which i am doing right now so no not on youtube not personally so many people who have good skills like in phd you are trained to write many things so you get good technical writing skills you know how to present a work so that even common public can understand it so from that perspective and obviously you have some good publishing experience you have published a lot of papers so you can go for any editorial jobs you can go for editorial jobs in any kind of publishing agency it could be a book it could be a magazine it could be a scientific novel it could be a scientific channel it could be a anything like that so you can go for content writing you can write content for anything could be scientific or non scientific you can write papers you can cross verify paper you can also join the journals who are publishing you can also go for the journal field where you want to review the articles whether it is good or not or something like that and also you can assist for scientific magazines scientific communication newspapers anything kind like uh, anything that kind of thing you can also go for that and i don't know how much they pay but one thing i'm sure they pay really good whatever you are going in private fields they pay slightly higher than what you have been given in academia because academia has a very low budget while these kind of the jobs have really great budget and they can pay you a good amount but on the other hand they want you to work really harder because in academia the life is a bit relaxed but in these kind of the jobs it's not that much. last but not the least is about marketing uh, publicity and uh, banking or sort of the investment of sort of things so when you are doing any kind of like economics sort of things or you are analyzing so good data data analysis data science machine learning artificial intelligence if you are good in any kind of the things then you can certainly find a job in any kind of fields if you are good in these fields you can certainly find a good job or prospect in these areas suppose you are in economics you can go for economic field you can go for stock marketing business analysis kind of jobs if you are good in political science you can go for political consultant and sort of thing if you are in like mathematical modeling and everything then you can go for market analysis and these kind of jobs if you are good in machine, like instrumentation or computer skill you can also go for data science and everything so there are like there are offbeat things that people usually don't consider but yeah there are also a type of field where you can put see yourself in means they can also offer you some job prospects they are not like the conventional things they are some bit of orthodox or like slightly outlined but yeah they are also career prospects in this field as well so these are the basics of what kind of fields you can go in and i'm not aware about the you packages in every field those i was aware i told you about that and uh, this is how it works there are limited option and you have to survive in that and there is no fixed salary that will certainly depend on your skills and experience so that's all for today's video if you have liked the content don't forget to hit that like button i want you to hit that like button and share it because that's how we are going to grow everyone i look a scientist is not recognized but lionel messi has so many uh, followers he doesn't do anything for society but we were we are the person who are really contributing in the betterment or you know or the upliftment of society and in return we get nothing i don't want any publicity of fame but i want people to learn from these videos and do not repeat any kind of mistakes which i have done in my past or they which they could have avoided so this is the lessons uh, lessons which you need to learn that in future i could face these things and these are the things which are i'm going to spend my 5 years so that's all for today don't forget to follow me on social media don't forget to like the video hit the subscribe button or also press that bell icon as well that is really important press that bell icon so that's all for today's video we'll meet in the next video thank you very much for your patience thank you very much for watching this video we'll meet in the next video thank you very much